Hey guys, Astro here, back with another video, and today we are doing a, another coding video, once again. And in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you guys can go ahead and make a uh, contextual uh, miss limit counter. Now, in normal mods, some mods, like for example, I'm currently uh, porting uh, Gorefield uh, to Psych Engine. Uh, I decided I'd tackle Nocturnal Mail first. Because I did have an idea of doing a tutorial like this, where, what's it called, um, I'll show you guys how to make a contextual miss limit. Now, most uh, mods, if they have a miss limit, what they'll have is the miss limit for it will simply uh, be, like, they might have full warning text at the start, but apart from that, you have no idea when you're about to die. But in my version, if you look in the uh, bottom left, I haven't scaled it up anything or anything because I'll do the scaling later. Uh, we've got um, the text saying resist misses left 12. Now, why this is contextual is if you look, if I go ahead and miss a note here. Uh, don't, don't worry about the debug stuff. Okay, it's bugging out because of all the debug stuff. But if you look, what's happening is uh, the counter slowly goes down each time you miss. So I'm going to play through, and I've also uh, coded in a uh, death if you hit 12 misses. So I'll go ahead and show you that when I get to it. Okay, see, so I'm going to miss two nodes, and then what I'll do is he'll uh, kill me. And of course, you can uh, wire your own custom game over into that. Uh, I'll do a separate video on custom game overs. But anyway, let's hop into the code. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is obviously come to where your mod is. So I've got this Gorefield Lua, since this is a Lua recreation of Gorefield. I'm trying to test my Lua skills because I'm still not going to try Source. Because Source scares me, and I don't know the first thing about Source. Apart from, like, changing the game name. But what we're going to go ahead and do is you're going to go to your mods. Uh, your mod, so in my case, Gorefield, give me a minute. Uh, I'm back, I had to quickly put myself in there, do not disturb, so you don't get bombarded by Discord pings. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, you need to go to your mods, go field, and then, um, depending, if you want it to be global, or if you want it to be on a singular song, you go to different places. If you want it to be global, so it's in effect on every single song, you just go to scripts and pop it in there. If you want it to be effective on a single song, which is what most of you probably want, you go to data, your song, and then you just put it in there, so misslimit.lua or call it whatever you want, it doesn't really matter. Now, since this is uh, being updated continuously, uh, it, it is quite a lot of rep repetitive code, like a lot. And basically what we're doing is we're um, updating the text uh, synchronously, so every time you miss, uh, it swaps the text out. So what you need to do is, I know it's a lot of uh, coding, but I will leave a link to the script on Game Banana down below once I finish it and upload it to Game Banana. But you need to make uh, however many misses your player is limited to. You need to make amount of text bar one. So what we need, so as you can see, I have uh, miss text twelve to one, and then just the contextual text. For example, when you have, when you have twelve misses left, it says resist misses left twelve, or when you have five left, it says resist misses left five. And that's just uh, set, that's, um, what's it called, the width. Uh, you can set the width to whatever you want. I set it to 115 because it looks nice. And uh, depending on where you want it, I want mine smack bang uh, in the middle left of the screen. So it's not that much of like a, what's it called, a bug. Or like, it doesn't grab your attention that much, but you can easily look over to it. Uh, you set the Y position to 360, which is what I've done. I have a bunch of commented out stuff for setting the text size because I haven't found a smooth spot for the text size uh, where it looks nice enough and big enough. I'll modify that before I go ahead and upload. And then what we're doing is we're rendering it to uh, the game camera because if you render it to the UI camera, UI events and panning will make the text go all weird. So if you render it to the game camera, it will be stuck in place uh, for the entirety of the song. And now, since I've, I've basically moved away from using uh, custom events, I prefer uh, hard coding my events because it's just a lot easier. 
So, for example, what this does is um, it looks for Kurt for step two hundred and fifty three. So that's that that's when the whole reveal happens. Uh, the flash happens. It zooms out and it shows you a uh, cryfield. Uh, basically, I've set it to normally show Miss Text 12 on uh, step 253. And then we've got our update. Uh, what we do first is we run a function to get the current amount of misses. And then we do a bunch of if statements. For example, if our misses is equal to 1, then we remove Miss Text 12 and we load Miss Text 11. All the way down to misses 12. If we have misses 12, then we remove Miss Text 1 and we set the player's health to 0, aka killing them. Now, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, to be honest. Uh, it's not that difficult, it's just the fact that it looks like a lot, but it's basically just loads of repetition, pretty much. Um, but uh, yeah, if you did enjoy, um, le let, let me know down below. And also, I uh, might make a Discord server purely for my FNF and modding coding stuff. So if you guys need help with Lua scripts, or if you want, or if anybody needs help with Lua scripts and they don't don't want to talk directly to me, it can be a place for people to share their scripts, share stuff they've worked on, kind of like just just a general like coding community server, pretty much. Um, but uh, yeah, um, you uh join the server when it's up and to suggest more stuff I can do. Um, but yeah, with that said, I'll see you all in the next video. Ashramical. Eight.